What is going down? Techies and techettes. I know, I know. It's been a second since I've been here for my NVIDIA community. And there's a reason why. I wanted to take a pause to really digest what was going down with especially like what you've been reading in the news for a lot of NVIDIA, like kind of not playing well with creators. And like, I think it was hardware unboxed. Like, you know, him as a creator had a very interesting thing to like basically push out there but moving on past that we're not there for this this is what we're here for patch notes we're here for performance in awesome times because you're at the mcgyver 7 channel my name is mac so let's get into that i think that should be the funness so let's first jump into what the game ready driver is for nvidia this time around what this is is going to be very nice performance boost between the 460 seven nine versus the eight nine they're both from the same sets so we're going to be looking at that and so far what i have pulled up just for a teaser in that situation to keep that crowd kind of wondering what's going down with their port royale right well as you can say with that with a nice cup of awesomeness that the older driver is actually going to come in a little bit better we have on the right, the brand new driver, 460.89, not slaying it as good with the hardware accelerator on on the top. With the hardware accelerator on with the old driver with the 7.9, you can see that the ray tracing abilities are very well adequate. Now, when you're looking at percentage wise, it's not that big of a deal just to kind of give everyone kind of like a points for average. But looking at the point race your old driver with the hardware accelerator definitely takes it. Now on the bottom, hardware accelerator off and driver to driver, new on the right, old on the left. But let's go ahead and take a look at our patch notes. As we dive into the highlights of what basically goes down in the newer driver and the older driver that came down to it, the added background applications and the max frame rate control and do the 3D management as well as the color accurate models that will be seeing some situations in those mode features. So those displays and the adjust desktop color settings. Now I'll leave these linked down below both of them and you can kind of see what goes down. But the main one that we're going to be covering is the brand new one. That's basically a little bit more relevant where we have the Vulcan ray tracing extension on top of the CUDA 11.2. Very pretty sweet. On top of that, the game ready driver that we can see that the full list is not available. Apparently there's no fixes. There's just like a lot of open issues that I wanted to bring into it. That just seems like, wow, that's that's random. Nice hash and other mining softwares, mining software issues. Yeah, he's no, no offense. Like this pains me to like, honestly, that's what has been on like my mind the last like I want to say like three or four days is like the validity of NVIDIA. You know, it's like a person is only as good as their word. And like, quite frankly, NVIDIA is chill. And I'm not trying to like, you know, stomp on their like circuits and be like, you know, F your couch, to, you know, quote Charlie Murphy. But, you know, besides the point at that funny hilarity, you know, these are kind of obvious signs that they sold these to miners and they know that they sold these to miners and there's a whole bunch of miners that have these cards and there's a whole bunch of people that want to play cyberpunk even though it's a destroyed game and sony won't even give digital refunds to it that's a whole other hot mess that i've been looking into in media the news in lately has just been it's been a little weird but we're gonna get through it we're gonna be really cool about it so let's go ahead and get past that list of what is the uh, more improvements the only true improvements came from the last driver that we were looking at for as far as the curb display for as far as the black stripes and the racing in Forza 7. How many times have we seen that on the list? I'd be surprised to see it again next time. Uh, when the setting in the refresh higher inside of the 100 hertz for the color format and the switches for the RGB for the YCBRC422. Those are issues that will come into the pixel displays. Now, for as far as the GeForce 3090 inside of that G-Sync, it's not having its SLI surrounding three monitor systems looking inside of that locked up launching at a game. On top of that, we look at the RTX 3 series, the NNV 
API, the GPU for as far as what's getting inside the info is incorrect or and for those tensor cores are not very well correct. On top of the video crashes that come into for the 1088 pixel wide video settings and the 5K displays that come inside of the resolutions that cannot set the color settings on the NVIDIA control. The control panel now will actually have that for as far as the resolution when you get into the gray out for the revert to the default applying inside of the change. More open issues, but again, I'll have these all down below. I think this should be our time to look at a little bit more of what is going down for the freaking benchmarks. We already looked at what was pretty cool on the Port Royale, right? But what's going on with DirectX 11? What's going on with DirectX 12? We don't know. I think honestly what we can try to digest is the week-to-week -week differences and see what ends up happening with the ecosystems for Windows. A lot of people ask these questions of like, well, where's my good performance? Where's the really great stuff? Is NVIDIA doing a great job? And yeah, I about two minutes ago was saying shame on you, NVIDIA, but now at the same time, I'm going to defend them in a court of like i guess software because if they have made something good but windows pushes out like a really crappy like uh, os like it's it's gonna tank everything you'll actually see percentage drops which you have your hardware accelerator on which you're hoping by all randomness that it will actually work but let's go ahead and look at these we're gonna start off very well with our DirectX 12 because i feel like that's a more relevant game that's kind of coming in with a lot of cool stuff rasterization with ray tracing and all that other cool stuff so let's check it out now with 1080p coming out the gate you're gonna see the improvement with the hardware accelerator off now again this is going to be apples to apples as we can see all of them hold the 29 percentile now if you look at where it ties inside of the last driver before it comes up into a situation you can see that at this point in time what we can consistently see is that it comes out just a little bit more with the hardware accelerator off so very interesting i'm wondering if it, this is kind of like a windows issue nowadays because it seems like it's kind of like it's just topsy-turvy it just goes back and forth back and forth and it's just weird with the 4K department coming in at DirectX 12, we can see that again, the line is drawn. <laughs> this graphics card obviously is pretty beat when it comes down to situations of increasements. 6%, yeah. Yeah, every percent counts, but besides that and my hilarity of a 1060 graphics card coming into it, when driver to driver and looking at performanceable points, it definitely does seem that we look at the number game of nominal points literally taking the win for the hardware accelerator on for the top portion of the newer driver so not too bad now for as far as subtract x11 let's see what that story has been told rect x11 though with the 4k department comes into a really cool looking situation the newer driver with the hardware accelerator on kind of kills it then again when you look at the variance it's not really that big of a deal but it does come down to having a little bit better heavier graphic driver awesomeness with that nice 4k department let's go ahead and look at what's going to happen for our extreme before we get into just the normal fire strike the old driver in the extreme does take the case though in the situation newer driver with hardware accelerator on is going to work but with the hardware accelerator off of the old driver it works really well but let's see what the bread and butter is for our 1080p now consistently with the hardware accelerator on we will see that the newer driver definitely takes the cake has a really good time and enjoys life it's really cool so I think in that, for as far as looking at percentages, yeah, not going to be that good. It's going to be looking at like portal where the cake is a lie. So should you install any of these drivers when it is 460.79 versus dot eight nine well eight nine seems like it definitely does have some benefits in the 1080p department where DirectX 12 comes in the department of favor of the older driver of seven nine on top of that port royale also seems to kind of favor the older driver but everyone you are the best source of information how are you performing with your gpus what bugs are you experiencing leave a comment down below and i will see you guys and gals in the near future for more game related news when it comes to the game ready drivers for nvidia and hopefully they are gonna like you know be really cool with creators because i feel like that's kind of like one of the things where i was like well you should never try to silence someone or try to buy the review because it's not really a review it's more like a uh, that's just i guess just an opinion 
really you know just like you're you're paying for an opinion to say hey i have this opinion to this thing because they bought me this thing but just my opinion <laughs> joy of that but like share and subscribe if you are new to the network absolutely free helps me out as a creator and i'll see you guys and gals in the near future stay safe stay classy and i will see you there